Hey everyone, Nick Bohr here with Inspire Wealth. Uh, I'm doing a video today specifically around retirement planning mistakes. There was a recent survey done by Natixis, an investment manager across hundreds, if not thousands of advisors across the country around what mistakes they see people making as they're coming in to meet with them. One of the biggest ones, 49% of advisors say clients are underestimating inflation and the impact of it going into and through retirement. So that's a big one. I think we can all relate. You go to the grocery store lately, you got to take out a loan to buy some groceries, it seems like. So uh, the next one, underestimating how long you're going to live. So that's another big one. Uh, especially guys. I think a lot of us guys feel like, hey, you know, my parents only lived to 82 or late 70s, and I'm only going to live into my 80s, and that's it. And we can't just look at that anymore. The advances of medicine, you can live to 90 if you're relatively healthy in your mid to late 60s. So that's, a, that's another big one. Um, overestimating investment income meaning how much you can pull from your investments to supplement Social Security for your income. Um, being too conservative, uh, we've had a lot of volatility and we've had a lot of risk in the market over the last few years. Uh, and then we look back at 08 and, you know, it's, it has really gotten a lot of clients scared and gun shy on being in the market anymore especially being in the market completely. So that's another thing that you should be aware of and you should be thinking about. Uh, being unrealistic as far as returns. Uh, I tell our clients, listen, if you're, if you're moderate risk, 5%, 6% range, that's realistic. Anything more than that, you've got to be more, you've got to be more willing to take risk to try to achieve seven, eight, nine percent. So that's something else to keep in mind. Healthcare costs. Healthcare costs are huge. The Fidelity study last year said a couple that's 65, just from co-pays, deductibles, co-insurance, you can expect to pay five hundred thousand dollars in retirement. For healthcare expenses. So there's something that we just want to, to consider. That's not long-term care. So now it's going to be over time. So it's not like you're going to get a bill for that much all at once. So those are things you just want to plan for because more than likely your healthcare expenses are going to go up as you get older. Uh, failing to understand income sources. 35% uh, of advisors say that. Um, relying too much on public benefits like Social Security or Medicare, things like that. Uh, on the flip side, being too aggressive with your investments. 21% of advisors say clients are taking too much risk when they need income and it's impacting the volatility because they're drawing income and their accounts are really volatile. Um, so, that is something to consider when you're doing planning, when you're working with your financial team. If you don't have one, we're always here. Nick Bohr with Inspire Wealth here in Brighton, Michigan. Uh, we help clients every day. Check out our website, inspireyourretirement.com. Uh, check out our YouTube page, Inspire Wealth MI. And, you know, also feel free to check out uh, our, uh, our radio show, inspirewealthradio.com. That's another big resource for people when you're looking to get some questions answered or you're interviewing advisors and not knowing where to turn. So, again, don't, don't hesitate on reaching out. Nick Bohr, Inspire Wealth here in Brighton. Please talk to you very soon. And I appreciate everyone listening. Thanks so much. Take care.